Okay, folks. So these are some of the running drills that I have been using as part of my running warm up. So if you look just behind me to the right of my right leg, you will be able to see this little grid. It's got 10 squares in it. Each of these little rungs are 18 inches apart. Now, this is a purpose made ladder. It's got some webbing strapped down here and it's got these little rungs. They're like flat pieces of uh, flexible plastic. Uh, you could easily make something like this yourself. Or you could take uh, pieces of dowel. These need to be 18 inches long and you could place them on the ground 18 inches apart. Just measure them out. Or you could draw um, chalk marks on the ground or you could use pieces of tape. So you've got several options if you can't get hold of one of these. And the idea is that you are going to do some very simple running drills with your feet landing inside and outside of these squares at faster and faster speeds. So we used to use this with the cricket, the professional cricket players at Yorkshire, with the rugby players at Huddersfield Giants, with the juniors at Leeds United and lots of other athletes to improve their footwork, their coordination. We'd use them in sports specific drills for the various sports. You can just use them like this. And in a later video, I'll show you some of the micro hurdles that we use as well to get you to pick your feet up a little bit more. So firstly, I am going to show you just here, I'm pointing to the ball of my foot. And what I want you to do is to land upon this part here. Okay. And you'll see me in a minute demonstrating that if you were to jump just up on down on your toes, you don't get much spring and neither do you get much spring if you dance up and down on your heels. If you push off the ball of your foot and you allow your heels to gently touch the ground, that's where you get the most spring. So that's how you want to do these. So this drill now coming up is with one foot in each square. Now you'll see that I am looking slightly forwards. Eventually you should be able to do this without looking down. Okay. Also, you want to get your arms moving as they would do in running. Right arm coming forward as the left leg goes forward. Okay. So watch and see how this is done. One foot in each square. Okay. Slight knee lift. Not too much. Remember runners, particularly endurance athletes, don't have too big a lift, but you do want to uh, just pick your heels up. And you'll see later that we try to use the hamstrings rather than drive with the knees. So now we're getting a little bit quicker. And this is going two steps. So that requires a little faster foot movement, faster pickup and pace uh, ground contact time is really important. All the fastest runners in the world, regardless of whether they're doing a 100 meter sprint or a marathon, uh, the fastest runners have the best ground contact time. So doing something like this will improve and minimize your ground contact time. The longer your feet are in the air and the less time on the ground, the faster you'll run. So let's go through it again now, picking up the speed a little bit. This time I'm leading with the left foot. You, you will have a favoured leg on this. And you'll see that I'm treading slightly on the rungs with perfection. You would try to avoid that. OK, now we're going to do the same thing. Two feet in each square, but we're going to go sideways. Again, I could move slightly further forwards here to be near the front edge. Um, and... It's good to do lateral movements. We very rarely do that in multi-sport, uh, as in swim, bike and run. Uh, so we'll work some of the muscles there. Now we're going to move to a different drill. So this one, let's see what I'm going to do. This one is step in, step out. OK, easy to do at this slow speed. In, in, out, out, in, two in, two out, two in, two out, two in, two out. OK, right. So that's slow speed. As I get a bit faster, you might see I make a mistake towards the back end there as I get out of my timing. See if you can spot it. There. Easy to do if you're not concentrating. OK, some of this is learned movement pattern. Now we're going to go a bit faster. Okay, now, if you watch the. Um, if you watch the sprinters doing this, they have blinding leg speed. But I'm an endurance athlete. And uh, I've lost some of that speed that I used to have. But better movement pattern control there because I managed to do it with all without making mistakes. So what I would say with all of these drills is start slowly and as you perfect them, then build up the pace. 
Okay, here comes the next one. This is another lateral drill. It's more of a hopscotch, jump in, jump out. Okay, so this is low grade plyometrics as well. Good for um, placing some load onto the Achilles tendons. Okay, now we're going a bit faster. Make sure those arms move as well. You can see that I'm getting quicker as I go along. Okay, it feels fast to me that, but it doesn't look very fast. Did start to come back and explain that then. Uh, you can see I did have ear pods in, so I was explaining this to the camera originally. So this is how it's called the icky shuffle. I start on the right hand side. I take two paces in and I put the outside foot out of the uh, ladder. So see here, in, in, out, forwards, forwards, out, forwards, forwards, out, in, in, out. Picking up the speed now. Okay, still a little bit too high on my toes there. Getting faster now as we go down this. Trying to do the arms in time with the feet. You'll see that I do actually develop a slightly different running arm pattern in a minute. There's better, that's better. Now on this one here, you'll see it's much more of a slalom style arm. All right, there you go. So, five or six drills there. Going forwards, one foot step in each square. Also going forwards, two feet in each square. But on the first pass through, lead with the right foot. On the second pass through, lead with the left foot. Then go laterally, two feet in each square. But do two passes, leading with the right side, leading with the left side. Then we do another running one. Two feet in, two feet out, I one foot either side of the ladder, then one both feet into the middle, one foot either side of the ladder, both feet into the middle. Then you can do the same as that jumping. So you jump in, two feet in the square, jump out, feet either side of the ladder until you progress. Then finally, you have the one there, the lateral one, which is called the icky shuffle. Start with two feet in the ladder and then go left foot to the side, then and then move on to the next square, right foot to the side then left foot to the side. So you're sort of zigzagging up, but actually the body makes a straight line through and it's just the leg that goes out to the side. On all of these, start slowly, walk the drill through first, then pick up the speed as you become proficient. But do not try to do it as a running drill until you can get it right as a walking drill and then a jogging drill. And eventually, once you've learnt the uh, foot patterns, then you can try and do it as quickly as possible. You will find that this lifts your heart rate. You can use this in a limited space mixed in with some other exercises. So it's really good to do five minutes of those drills and then maybe do a little kettlebell circuit um, and then do some more drills, a little kettlebell circuit. You could easily do that for 30 minutes. You could mix some of the normal running drills in with these. You could add some skipping in as well if you wanted some plyometric work. So really learn these drills and then start to weave them in with some other exercise patterns. And this is particularly good for those people who are limited for space. And particularly of those of you in countries where you're in a proper lockdown, you've only got a garden or a, maybe um, a small yard to work in. Or for those people who want to do something different before they go for a run as part of their warm up. OK, so fill your boots on those. And in a week or so, I will be back with some more complex movements. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.